This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Today we're going to be talking about one of film photography's biggest secrets, and that is bulk rolling 35 millimeter film. Now, if you didn't know, you can purchase 100 foot rolls of your favorite black and white film, and you can bulk roll them yourself, and you can save a ton of money, but also just have a huge stash of film for when you need it. Now, this was especially useful for me when I was first starting out, as for like the first year, I pretty much shot only black and white film. I learned how to develop it, I learned how to scan it, and I learned how to bulk roll it as well. So if you like shooting black and white film, definitely stay till the very end of this video so you can see how you can bulk roll some film. But with that said, let's jump into some of the materials you're going to need. So to bulk roll your film, you're only going to need three things. The first one is going to be a changing bag. Now a changing bag is essentially a dark bag that has a seal on both sides and it has two holes that you can kind of stuff your arms into. And basically what it does is it allows you to work your film into the bulk loader in complete darkness. Now you can completely bypass this if you have a 100% dark room. Like back in the day, I used to go into a bathroom. I would put towels on the bottom of the doors and on the top, and I would essentially just seal it to where I was sitting in complete darkness. That's definitely an option, but after a while and after too many scary movies, I just didn't feel like sitting in the dark trying to load my film in. And you also have the possibility of someone opening the door. So a dark bag is great because you can still do this anywhere out in the daylight because within that bag, as long as it's sealed, everything stays completely. 100% blackout dark. The next thing you're going to need is a bulk roller. Now there are different variations, but the one that I personally recommend and use is the Lloyd's bulk roller. This one has to be the most simple and straightforward bulk roller that I've used. And so it's the one that I am sticking with till this day. And last but not least, you're gonna need a 100 foot roll of your favorite black and white 35 millimeter film. Now they make these in, you know, different film stocks, they make them in Triax, they make them in HP5, uh, they also make them in Kentmere. There are still tons of different black and white options out there in the 100 foot roll offering, uh, so just do your research and see which one you want to do. So those are the main pieces of gear that you are going to need, but there is one little thing that you are going to have to get, and that is empty film canister rolls. Now the reason why I didn't include this with the materials is because I feel like everyone that shoots film has some of these laying around. And what you need to do is you need to make sure they are empty. You can go on eBay and buy a ton of these. They usually sell them in like these huge bundle packs of like 100 and you could probably pay like 20, 30 bucks for 100 of them. So what you're gonna need is that film canister roll and you're gonna need the last part of that film where it attaches to the spool inside. You can either cut that off, but leave a little bit of a lip here, a little bit of a gap, because you are gonna use that as your anchor. All right, so let's get started with bulk rolling your film. Now, before we get started with how to load your film up into the bulk roller, I wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to our sponsor for this episode, the good folks over at Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now, luckily, Squarespace has a ton of award-winning templates that you guys can use within minutes to get started, as well as an e-commerce shop, a portfolio, as well as as my new favorite feature, the video feature, where you can essentially put all of your YouTube video content directly uploaded onto there or from a link. So head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes and enter promo code kingjapes at checkout for 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or a website. It is extremely worth it to get your own website now, moving into the new year. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. All right, you guys, so now that we have all the materials out of the way, let's talk about how to bulk roll your film. Now, the first thing that I would do is I would open your dark bag. Now, the first three steps you're gonna be doing within the dark bag, but of course, for demonstrative purposes, I will be showing you guys how it's done outside of the dark bag, of course, without sacrificing my 100 foot roll of HP5, but just know the next three steps are going to be within the dark bag. So now that you have your dark bag laid out, step two, you're gonna wanna put the bulk roller as well as the 100 foot roll of film inside of that dark bag. Once you have all of that inside, zip it up, stick your arms through, and now you are ready to load the bulk roller. Remember, this is all being done within the dark bag. You need complete darkness because you're about to expose that 100 foot roll and kind of transfer it over in to that bulk roller. So you need it to be completely dark so none of your film gets light leaks. The first thing you're gonna do is take off the top of the bulk roller. Usually you undo the circle cover and then lift off the face. 
From this face, you're gonna notice that there's going to be a spool in the very middle, a big open space, as well as this opening at the very top that has a lip that kind of has a cutout. Now, the way this works, folks, is once you take out that 100 foot roll, you'll notice that it's inside of this kind of black plastic bag and you're gonna try to find where that film starts. Usually it's just a piece of tape holding it down. Now once you find where it starts, you're gonna grab that film, and once you find where that starts, it's very simple. You wanna make sure that the top of the film is in your right hand. Grab the spool with your left hand, and try not to touch the film itself. And with your right hand, you need to grab that leader, and now you're ready to place it onto the spool in the bulk roller. Once that you have this in, you need to take that leader and feed it through that little hole on the top. Once you have that done, you're gonna screw everything back together, put the top on, and you are ready to rock and roll. Just make sure you have a piece of that leader that you had in your right hand sticking out of the box itself. Once everything is sealed up and ready to go, you can open up the dark bag, and now everything within this Lloyd's dark box is going to stay completely, completely hidden from light, and so you can bulk roll your film now in daylight. Everything from this point on should be extremely easy. What I want you to do is grab that film roll with the leader sticking out. So, what you're gonna do is with the top of the film canister facing up, you're gonna go ahead and take the leader from the 100 foot roll and take the leader from the film canister roll and attach the two with a piece of tape. Very simple and try to keep it extremely flush and light because you still have to spool the rest of the film inside of here. Once you have the two ends connected, all you're gonna do folks is reinsert this back into the Lloyd's film bulk roller and you're gonna insert that crank. And from this point on, on the actual bulk roller itself, it gives you a little bit of a guide to tell you how many times to crank it for the amount of exposures you want. Now personally, I have found if you do about 29 to 30 turns, you're gonna be getting 36 exposures. And if you want a shorter roll, like a 24 exposure roll, you can do 24 turns. But folks, it's very simple. You insert that canister inside, you close it up, you take the crank, insert it, and then you're gonna turn it according to the amount that you want on your film roll. After you crank your film into the roll, pull it out just a little bit, not trying to waste too much film, cut it off, and then leave some room to make your leader. From this point on, grab a pair of scissors and create the shape that you see that you get from a fresh roll of film. And just like that, you guys, you have now a bulk roll of film. Now the best part about bulk rolling film, you guys, is it's extremely convenient. You can either bulk roll on command or you can do what I do where I kind of sit there for about an hour and I kind of crank out these rolls. And usually from the 100 foot roll, I get around 20 to 21 rolls of 36 exposure film. So very cost effective. And if you shoot a lot of black and white film, this is definitely something you should look into. But there you have it, you guys. That is how to bulk roll your own 35 millimeter film. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys use this method or if you guys have any other suggestions, comments, or concerns. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, please, if you made it to the end, drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more. But that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, Middle to Game.